Zuapuleti told me a, a very instructive story. He said he was owing his rent and was overdue for a long time. And he had a particularly cantankerous landlord. So he kept praying, God, let me not be put to shame because that landlord will come and create a scene. So every morning, when it's time for him to, to, to go out, he would listen to see that landlord is not around. Sometimes he would come out through the window, come out through the back door, kept praying, Lord, let me not be put to shame. Let me not be put to shame. Still no money for his rent. And then this morning, as he climbed out of the window, that was the landlord standing there. Said, uh -huh. Where is my rent? And Israel starts looking at him. And the man starts creating a sin. You are not going anywhere today. You think you can live in my house without payment? Think of all kinds of people, everybody is saying, what's going on? What's happening? Israel is thinking, Lord. Huh? And I pleaded with you and I begged you, I said, please, let me not be put to shame. Let me not be put to shame. And suddenly his phone rang. When his phone rang, somebody was on the other, he answered the phone. He answered the phone and the person said, uh, What's going on? What's all that noise? He said, you know, seems to trouble low. Yeah. It's my landlord. It's my landlord, though. You see, he has come to believe me because I have not been, I've been late on my rent. And the person said, you know, how much is your rent? Send me your account number. Send the person his account number and wire his rent to him. Rent paid. Problem solved. What's the moral of the story? Israel's prayer was, God, let me not be put to shame. Let me not be put to shame. But it was in the middle of that shame that God brought salvation. God says, my people will not be put to shame. Let me tell you a secret. Owing your rent is not shameful. Not being able to pay your children's school fees is no cause for shame. There's only one shame that remains. That is sin. The only sin is shame. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach. God bless you. Say to the righteous, it is well with you and yours in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.